This is St. Michael's Cemetery in Livermore, California. This particular cemetery was established in 1880 and it serves the Tri-Valley area. This is another very old cemetery with a lot of interesting markers, headstones, little mausoleums, etc. And like a lot of these old cemeteries, like I've said in the past, they are street names here. These people had streets named after them. This is an interesting one. O'Brien is the last name. Died in 1880. Wow. With a lot of these old cemeteries, a lot of this cement work starting to cave in, starting to crumble now. So over time, things are starting to fall apart. Wow, this one, 1890. The family name is Rodriguez. Jeez. This is the backside of that one that was crumbling in from earlier. It's like, wow. You can almost see inside, but not really, but. I wonder if there's any plans to restore some of this stuff at some point. Wow, that this one marker right here, very interesting. It looks like it's wood logs, but it's not. It's actually made out of stone. One of the people in this one died in 1899. And then the next one, that's buried. The second one's buried in here. Died in 1954. Very interesting. The way the grave is set up. I'm fascinated by these old cemeteries. This one is very interesting. I'm not sure. There's no names on it. I'm not quite sure if it's occupied. But wow. I don't know if it was built for somebody and then they didn't use it there's no name markers on this one just sitting out here in the middle of the cemetery some of these are falling apart due to neglect and age like some of these don't even seem to have names on them where the stones have been vandalized or stolen or just fallen apart there's a last name on this one, but it's kind of hard to make out. And this one over here has got a stone, but it seems, looks like probably been vandalized, unfortunately. This one is an above ground family deal. Looks like there's already two in there. There's even an infant buried in there with somebody in one of them. And then this last one is, I guess it's vacant for now. And here's another one. Falling prey to neglect and age. Another very old one, 1907. 
And it looks like there might be some family of this person in here too. But these stones are kind of hard to make out anymore. This name is very interesting, Concannon. There is a winery in the area here in Livermore by the same name. I wouldn't be surprised if it's the same family, which I'm sure it is. Interesting. Here's the inside of one of these old mausoleums. It's got four people. This is old school. And people have thrown flowers in for them. Old flowers. This little patch right here has some war veterans in it. Vietnam War, World War One. And then they have different branches of the military. Some of them say that they're what veterans they were of, which wars they were veterans of. It has their ranks. Very interesting. Just this one little part has a lot of uh, veterans. Oh, 1935 some of these are pretty old this one stone right here this guy was in the Marine Corps died in 1905 interesting a lot of these are super super old There's another Concannon family plot too. Way over there. Wow, interesting. Thank you so much for joining me on this exploration. If you're enjoying these videos, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And I will be seeing you guys very shortly with another video.